Hey guys and gals, I need you to listen up on this one when it comes to your recovery. I really need you to put your, you know, cotton batten in your mouth and open those ears of yours and listen to this, okay? Because this is really important. I don't know if you've heard it before in 12-step recovery groups or wherever you go for your recovery, but have you ever heard the analogy of the jaywalker? You know, the jaywalker going across the street and he goes a number of times, he doesn't get hit, and eventually he gets hit, breaks his leg, but he keeps doing the same thing over and over, trying to get to safety on the other side of the street. Well, that is an analogy for insanity when it comes to addiction, that we try and do the same thing over and over and over and over and try and get a different result. And we do it innocently, we do it not even knowing, okay? And that's the weird part about it because I go to meetings and I hear it all the time, this insanity, people taking back their own will or their own way of life, their old way of life without the booze and getting in to jams in their lives, having huge problems. It's like their life is like bumper cars, always having conflicts with everybody. And the reason that is for a lot of us, we don't understand that alcoholism is a mental, spiritual, and physical disease. But our main problem is the way we think. And when I'm in meetings and I'm listening to the people, or I see people's lives in early recovery, it's Insanity 101. They're trying to do the same behavior that they did when they drank. They're applying that same behavior, thinking they're gonna get a different result for their drinking problems, for their relationship issues, for their work issues, whatever it is. It's insanity running wild in their lives. Because a lot of people believe in recovery that if we quit drinking, we should return basically to a normal life, but we don't because the alcoholism moves forward in our lives. If your life is crappy in sobriety, if you're having a hard time coping with life, you're probably still pretty insane. You're not willing to give up the old life or the old way of thinking for a new life and a new way of life. Okay, and that's what it's all about. We change, we must. Just because you sober up a drunken horse thief, it doesn't mean he's not a horse thief anymore, it just means he's a sober horse thief. Because I tried it all the time. You know, it's like China's pound a square peg into a round hole. We try and force things with our will, we try and force things with our old thinking, our old behaviors, thinking it's going to work. We're still lying, we're still manipulating, we feel guilty, we feel like victims, and we've done nothing in our recovery. But we think things should change, and they do change. We get physically healthy, maybe you have more money because you're not blowing it all on booze, but you still have the insanity of the alcoholism in your brain. You still have it. Alcoholism is a, a disease of the brain, the emotions, and the physical, your body, okay? Our thinking is off whack. The way we think, the way we handle things is off whack. And that's why a lot of people in early recovery have a hell of a time because they're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to work the steps of recovery or in smart recovery or what it, you know, Christian recovery, whatever recovery you're in, a lot of people are unwilling to work those steps or work those suggestions into their life, like getting honest with yourself, getting active in the program, helping other people out, going to therapy, getting a sponsor and bouncing things off people before you do it. You just don't go ahead and do it. Because alcoholism is a mental illness and it affects us all differently, but it affects us all one way. It makes us crazy as a loon. We are nuts when we sober up. We are crazy. Believe me, I was stalking my ex-wife when I was sober. I was still lying and cheating when I was sober. I was manipulating people when I was sober. You know, to get sex, to get money, to, to not work, live off people, leech off people. I was still doing a lot of crazy behaviors that I did when I drank and I thought my life was supposed to be better if I quit the booze, but it never got better until I was willing to change the way I was thinking and the way I behave. And the problem with that is it's scary to change your life. It takes courage to change your life. 
and you have to reach out for support in order to change your life. Because for myself, if I try and help myself, it's like an idiot helping an idiot. It really is. Stupid is what stupid does. I did not know how to lead my life in sobriety. I didn't know that. So one of the major things that I had to give up in early sobriety was the idea that my thinking was the right thinking. But it wasn't the right thinking. It was the wrong thinking. I was very in survival mode. I was always afraid. I never asked anybody for help. And God forbid would I ever change my old habits or my old belief system to get ahead in this world. But I tell you something, since I did that, my life has changed dramatically. It really has. I'm able to function in a job. I'm able to be honest with people. I'm able to have a proper relationship with a woman. I'm able to save money, talk to people when I feel hurt and when I feel afraid. I'm able to do things in my life that I never thought I would be able to do. And people come to me and they ask me for my opinion and they ask me for my advice. That's something really new. Life changes. It's amazing how your life will change. Don't leave recovery. Don't start drinking before the miracle happens to you because it's just right around the corner, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you like my video, subscribe. If you don't like my video, subscribe anyways. But can you all hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it. Just remember, stupid does what stupid is, okay? Ciao for now. God bless. Remember, alcohol recovery is freedom. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.